Oh, shit. Oh, shucks. Stocks dipped lower today as traders feared that the release of Kanye West's new album could lead to ego inflation. Here's Brian with the Daily Dip. Welcome to the Daily Dip. I'm your host, Brian Robinson. The Nasdaq dropped 200 points today as traders weighed worries about the impact that Mr. West's new album could have on America's inflated sense of self. After several delays, the famed rapper, producer, and this generation's closest thing to Einstein has finally dropped his 10th studio album, Donda. Ye previewed the album through multiple listening events held at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, with streaming through Apple Music. I watched it on my iPhones. Early signs of rising ego could be seen in the food prices reportedly charging $40 for hot dogs, $50 for chicken tenders, which is more than those things normally cost, which is what inflation is. Soldier Field in Chicago held a final Donda live stream last Thursday. ABN Field reporter Brian Saracen attended the event to investigate the hot dogs. This hot dog was $7.50 which, while high, is well within stadium norms. They did not have ketchup, though, only mustard. The bigger market force on display at the event was not a hunger for hot dogs, but rather for merchandise. There was no merch at the event due to a shipping issue. That did not stop fans from lining up, hoping, praying, begging for a shot at a Donda t-shirt. Economists had hoped that the upcoming Yeezy Gap collaboration signaled an attempt by West to be more affordable. But several Gap and Adidas locations have been overrun with spikes of demand as Donda hype spreads to all sections of the store. Yeah, I watched the Donda live stream on my iPad and there's no way this isn't going right to Kanye's head. You got to get these babies while you can. So if you need any Gap shirts like I do, you better get them now because these are going to be worth money. Lots of people watch the Donda live stream on their iPods or whatever. Resale on these Yeezy sneakers can be anywhere from... Double to, um, what's six double? Six double. <laughs> These things are flying out the door. I sold my own pair myself, but I figure I can buy the dip later. I, I didn't watch the Donda live streams. I don't like Kanye. I think he's a piece of sh As with all conversations about inflation, all eyes are turned towards the Federal Reserve. Fed Chair Jerome Powell spoke today, trying to assuage concerns that the impending Yeezy season would put even more pressure on interest rates. Obviously, we're watching the situation very closely. Um, I watched the Donda live stream myself. I, I watched it on my Macintosh computer, and it did improve my self-esteem. But we've had drops this year, good drops, very good drops this year. Coal dropped, uh, Tyler dropped. The national ego is still within acceptable levels. We're confident, but not cocky. And we maintain our plan to keep interest rates where they are until 2022 when Kendrick drops. Despite Fed assurances, many traders are still concerned that all these good drops are propping up the market. Kanye West is, of course, this generation's Shakespeare. And if anything, that's a compliment to Shakespeare. It's hard to imagine his ego going anywhere but to the moon. Back to you, Brian.